Start with the two-point line tool. Draw a line as you see. Double-click the shape tool to select all nodes and convert it to a curve. Press and hold on the line, then drag to shape it. Let's create a few more curves using the same method. Select a curve, copy it to the left, and use the shape tool to make a thin edge. Right click this curve and cut it, this will let us use smart fill to create a new shape in one piece. Click paste to restore the curve. Repeat this for the other curves. We don't need these anymore. Use Smart Fill to create the new shapes. Delete any unwanted curves to clean up your design. Next, grab the Interactive Fill tool and add a gradient to your shape. Start with a dark edge and move to lighter shades. Reverse the gradient for a metallic look. Fine-tune it by adding and repositioning colors until you get the effect you want. Save it as a custom fill in the fill picker for later use. You can apply the same gradient by dragging it from here to any shape. Now tweak the gradient, swap out some light colors for darker ones to get the effect needed. Select and remove outlines. Use the same gradient on the other shapes and tweak each shape individually to achieve different effects. For these two shapes I will apply a dark muted blue-gray color. Select all and remove outlines. Select the rectangle. Apply an elliptical gradient and blend from dark muted blue-gray to ultra-dark blue-black. Now it's time to add some detail, let's create a dot effect and place it on selected shapes. To do that, start with drawing a small circle.
with right mouse click, click and drag to make a copy to the side. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate. Select all and combine. Click twice and move pinpoint to the center of first circle. Press plus to duplicate, hold Ctrl and rotate. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate. Select all and combine. Fill with the same gradient and remove outline. Create a copy. Right click. Power clip inside. Select this shape. Do the same to other one. Select the shape, click Edit. Reposition to get the desired effect. Do the same for the other shape. Now you get this nice effect. Finally, Add some shadows to give a 3D effect. Start with grouping the shape with the edge. Select Shadow Tool and add Shadow. Click the plus here to save it as preset so we can apply the same shadow to the other shapes. Now right click, break drop shadow apart. Right click, order to back. Create a copy. Send to back. Next, use power clip to place the shadow inside the shapes beneath the main shape. Do the same for all other shapes. To apply the same shadow effect, select the shape, choose the shadow tool, open the preset menu, and pick the shadow we saved earlier. Congrats! You now know how to create this sophisticated, luxury-inspired background. If you enjoyed this tutorial, like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more Corel Draw tips and design tricks.